it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're working on dividing in scientific notation. Now you might remember that scientific notation is for when we want to write really, really large numbers or really, really small numbers. Well, we have worked on multiplication. You might remember that here's a multiplication problem that what we did to multiply when we had the exponents, we multiplied the whole number, so three times two is six, but then we added the exponents with the powers of 10. So 10 to the fourth times 10 to the second, 10 squared, equals 10 to the sixth. Well, how does this change we want to divide? Hmm, well think about it. If we had it to add the exponents when we were multiplying, do you think we might subtract the exponents we want to divide? Okay, if you thought that, you're right. <laughs> Watch this. So let's take uh, let's take this problem. Six times ten to the sixth over two times ten squared. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and divide our whole numbers. Six divided by two is three, and we're going to subtract our exponents. We have a six. We have a two. Six minus two is four. So here we are at ten to the fourth. That would be your answer. What happens when you have a problem that looks like this? The good news is the process is still the same. We're going to subtract the exponents. So first we're going to divide 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then we put our power of 10. 2 subtract 6 is a negative 4. So our exponent is a negative 4, which means this is a very, very small number. Okay, makes sense. We've got you know, a number times 100 times add six zeros here. So a small number divided by a big number means we're going to get a really small number. What happens if we have negative exponents? You've heard me say it before. The process is still the same. So let's divide 6.3. There's my decimal. Divided by 3. It's going to be 3 goes into 6 two times. Point three goes into three one time. So again, we're still dividing our whole numbers, but we are subtracting our exponents. Now, in case you think you might get confused with the positive and the negatives, just go ahead and write it down. So my negative three subtract a negative seven. And you know when we have a negative, negative, we turn that whole thing into a positive. So negative three plus seven is a positive four. So times 10 to the fourth. Okay, so as long as you can remember, I am subtracting my exponents. Don't get weirded out by negative numbers. It still just works the same. Okay, that's it for me today. I will see you in the practice set to try a whole lot more of these. It's Nicole the Math Lady. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay, bye.